Welcome to a brief introduction on the Sigma 4 time entry for employees. While the functionality will remain the same, the Sigma 4 user interface has several improvements. We will highlight these improvements as we walk through time entry via creating a timesheet. Just as it is currently, Sigma will be available via My Login. A helpful change with the upgrade is that most Sigma applications will be available through one unified link. Let's begin by clicking our name in the top right corner of the screen and selecting the employee business role. For most state employees that only access Sigma every two weeks to enter their timesheet, the system defaults to the employee business role. For this example, we will use the time and leave quick link from the home page. The time and leave quick link allows you to access a list of all pay periods. From the time and leave page, we can view timesheets, requests, and leave balances. From the view timesheet tab, select create timesheet to begin the time entry process. Select the applicable payroll date range to highlight the line and select create. This is the timesheet default view. If your schedule varies from eight hours each day, then you can modify each day's time worked by selecting the first day, entering the appropriate hours, and using the tab key to move to the next day. Sigma 4, like the current version, will pre-populate a new timesheet with any leave previously requested and approved using Sigma's leave request transaction. However, you may also add to your timesheet any leave without an approved leave request. We will use sick leave in the following example to illustrate how this is done. An improvement of Sigma 4 is that the method of adding lines is no longer buried under other functions. To enter sick leave, select the plus icon to insert a row. Once a line is added, if you know the event type abbreviation, you can simply enter SKLV directly into the event text field rather than searching for the event type. If you don't know the abbreviation, you can click the search and select event icon to search for it. If you don't know the full event type abbreviation, you can begin typing the beginning portion, SK, and use the asterisk, then click search. Likewise, for the short description field, if you enter the beginning spelling of the event type, SI, and use the asterisk, you can narrow your search. Select the event type SKLV, or sick leave, by highlighting the line and then selecting OK. From there, we can enter the sick leave used, in this example, eight hours, and change the same day on the reg one line, which is the default, to zero hours. As with the current version, employees need to adhere to agency policies for leave requests in Sigma 4. A comment should be provided for sick leave usage. An improvement of Sigma 4 is that the method of adding comments is no longer buried under other functions. Click the comments icon for the sick leave line and leave a brief explanation for the sick leave request and then select OK. Annual leave, abbreviation ANLV, and other leave types are added to the timesheet in the same manner of inserting a row, entering the event type and related hours, along with adjusting the reg one line accordingly. A comment is not necessary for annual leave use. The validate button gives you the option to check for errors throughout the transaction. However, once fields have been completed, you can simply select submit to send the transaction on for approval. If system errors are present at submission, the system will display warning messages for you to review or error messages for you to correct. Transactions that are free of error messages will be successfully submitted to the approver. A summary of the timesheet will display once submitted. The status of timesheets can be viewed from the View Timesheet tab. Draft shows that the timesheet has been started, but not submitted. Pending shows that it has been submitted, but not yet approved. And Final shows that the timesheet has been approved. From the home page, we can also select Current Timesheet to view or edit your timesheet for the current pay period. From here, you can review leave balances or edit your timesheet in the same manner as the previous example from the time and leave quick link. We will not go into modifying a submitted timesheet here. Instead, please see our workflow snippet for information on recalling and modifying submitted transactions from workflow. 
For more information about the Sigma 4 upgrade, visit Sigma 4 upgrade on SharePoint. To find the page, navigate to the State Budget Office site. Then, using the SBO Agencies dropdown, select Sigma. There, you will find Sigma 4 upgrade.